The number one way that arguments start usually is because it starts with a criticism. Criticisms come in little different forms here and there. You can do a flat out criticism like you suck or you never do that right or you're not enough. Those are wholehearted criticisms. Or it could be kind of more subtle like why did you do that like that? When you're saying why to somebody and why did you do that that way, what you're saying is it's no longer us, it's me versus you. Like you're doing it differently than I would do it and therefore we're not on the same team. And when we're not on the same team, that's when there's conflict. So criticisms are the first thing to look for when you're, well, when when an argument is about to start, you want to make sure that you're, the way you deliver your message is not in the form of a criticism. And a criticism usually starts out with the word you, and it commonly has the always and nevers in it. Like, you never do the dishes right, you're never around, you're never on time, you're always late. Those kinds of things are criticisms. And it will immediately set off the other person to be defensive and probably throw a criticism right back. So the antidote to criticisms is what's called a gentle startup. I'll give you an example that I use a lot with my clients. So for example, my partner and I, we commonly you know, disagree on how dishes are supposed to be done. I like to do them in the morning. She likes to do them at night. So if I were to say, you never do the dishes right or she never she says to me you never do the dishes right of course that's a criticism she she said the word you she said the word never and i'm right there thinking oh i do do the dishes right and i think of the one time that i have and then i might throw a criticism right back but if she were to use what's called a gentle startup as a criticism a different a different way to get the problem delivered then what she could say instead is an equation it's i feel blank when blank happens so what she's, she could say instead of, you never do the dishes right, is, I feel overwhelmed when the dishes are not done. Notice that it's taking the you out of it, and it's also focusing on an I feel statement, a feeling. You can't argue feeling. I can't argue that she's overwhelmed. But what she's doing is also focusing on the problem of the dishes not being done, not that I'm not doing it right, not that she's not doing it right, but that the dishes are not done. And as the receiver of that, I now know what a gentle startup is. I'm glad that she did that. She took the time to rephrase it. And also, she's going, then I'm not going to receive it as something's wrong with me. I'm looking at the problem of the dishes not being done. So you can practice your gentle startups. They're very difficult to do at first, but when you get better and better at them, you can you can deliver your message a little bit better to your partners, to your family, to your friends, to your colleagues. Gentle startups really do work if you can. Take out the use, take out the always and nevers, and focus on the issue.